Immigration to the UK has got harder and harder. As such, the visa process has got more and more difficult. Um, they're looking for the minimum of 18,600 income per person, so you'd need 18,6 um, plus a year's pay slips, etc., to show that you've been in the UK a year and have got at least 18,600 coming in. It doesn't guarantee it. Um, I know people reject it over stupid things, but the, the point is that is the one route as a couple of getting into the UK. The other one is the Syringa Singh route. You can Google it, YouTube it um, for advice on that, which is a completely different route. Um, but generally, most people are going for um, the straight immigration route to the UK and spending thousands of pounds on your money to give to the taxman um, or immigration officials that goes to the taxman. Um, personally, I don't agree with it. Uh, personally, I think we were ripped off because when the EU floodgates opened, the only target the UK could do with the immigration is actually British people born and bred. Um, well, at least got a passport <laughs> because we have tighter rules than the rest of Europe. As such, we become easy to target when there is nothing to regulate anything else because it's all under freedom of movement. Which is why the Syringa Singh route may be a better route for you. Um, but research that. Um, but beyond that, if you're going through the UK immigration process, please be aware that you need to um, pre-do what you're expected at the immigration. Because uh, you'll get a load of questions asked. Your partner's not going to answer them all right. Um, and I've, I've seen so many people actually fill in things wrong and actually say things wrong in the interview where they're very simple mistakes. Um, so be aware of it. Pre-plan it. Ask what they're going to do there. Read up on it. You have to research the rules and regs. I ain't going to talk about it here because they change. Um, but you need to study it. Um, understand what they're looking for. Then preempt everything to suit. Um, is your wife allowed to work for the first year? There's a question for you. What is she going to do in the UK for the first year? There's another question for you. How are you going to support her? And you need to let your partner know all these questions so that she knows what your answers are. Because if she wanders in there and goes, OK, so you're going to the UK. Yeah. What are you going to do for a year? Don't know. How are you going to support yourself? My husband's going to support me. How does your husband support you? Don't know. What does your husband do for a living? Don't know. As you can see, there's a pattern here which sets alarm bells off for immigration. <laughs> the fact that your wife knows nothing. Um, and I've seen people do this because their partner hasn't paid any attention, but also many an expat assumes that the UK immigration is just a case of filling a few forms and off you go. That was a few years ago. <laughs> it's no longer that easy. Nowhere near. All right. Thanks for watching.